when y'all hear it, then that's that. What are we talking about? San Diego. Not a game, not a game. San Diego. How silly is that? And we're talking about San Diego. It ain't about that. We are here with Sante Prince again. Yeah. Take two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sequel. <we're back. laughs> so real quick, uh, yeah, this is We Talk San Diego on the North Park Radio Network. Um, as always, like, find, subscribe us to us on all the podcast stuff, um, NorthParkRadio.com. And I want to start off by asking you who you are. Hey, so my name is Sante Prince, a.k.a. Hot Chocolate, a.k.a. The Great Black Shark, a.k.a. The Fifth Hot Phenom, <laughs> a.k.a. That Boy Good. Uh, I'm a hip-hop artist here in San Diego, California, born and raised, 619. Um, I'm also a just great person, just a yeah. great person to be around. <laughs> I've done a couple of shows. The biggest show that I've done this year is opening up for a black star. That's most deaf, now formerly known as Yasin Bey and Talib Kweli. Did that in Pomona, California about a month ago. Um, and yeah, I'm taking over the game. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. And who and where were you at age six? At age six, I was a chubby puppy oh, yeah. <laughs> with asthma. <laughs> <laughs> and age six years old, I was Princess Auntie Seifa Buachi. What was I? Probably f- third grade. It had to have been about third or fourth grade with Mr. McLaughlin or Mrs. Keller. And, you know, I was playing baseball. I was so bad at sports. So, so <laughs> terrible. I swear, every time it was my turn to come to the bat to, to hit, the coach would be like, oh, game's over. <laughs> like, what? We got four. No, no. Everyone, no. We're good. We're fine. God, I swear. Everyone gets a turn. Yeah. They yeah. 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 And my yeah. super tight uh, uh, baseball pants that I can barely squeeze into. Eight six. Same, man. man, yeah. <laughs> Been through, done it. The fat kid baseball pants. Yeah. The good thing about baseball pants though for fat kids are that are a little like stretchy. Yeah, yeah. That's the old course. Yeah. Like, uh, but we test the way on it. <laughs> you know, we, we, we test how fresh they are. <laughs> I love it. And I wanted to ask, um, because you kind of mentioned it, um, since you are the Sante Prince, um, who is the Sante King? Oh, that Sante King is actually Sante Prince of the future. <laughs> so we have, oh, yeah. you know, my future, my present self, we talk. It's the, the throne has, has yet to be in yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just cleaning it up. Because I was, you know, he'll come and visit me and be like, hey, you're doing a great job. Keep it going. And then when I mess up, he's like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> we wanted to say, because I wanted you one more time, um, say your full name for people. My it's such full a beautiful name. name, right? Okay, my full, full name. Beautiful meaning behind it? Yeah, Prince Kofi Asante Sefabuachi. And uh, I just got a new name when I was in Ghana. It doesn't work like that where, like, you go and you get a new name, but obviously when you're uh, around, like, family for a truly cultural thing, the name is Prince Kofi Krobia Asante Sefabuachi. All right. Yeah, so... What does that mean? Man, Krobia means uh, grounded, structured, just really? kind of like, a, I don't know, deeply rooted. And I was like, hey, I'll take it. And um, the thing with Ghana is once you're born, you take the day, the name of the day you were born on. And Kofi, my name is Friday, so I was born on a Friday. Yep. yep. And I just found that out. Oh, that's really cool. Two years ago, because my older and my younger brothers, they both have their they're called Akan names. My older brother is Kofi, and my younger brother is Afriye, and I think Afriye is Monday, but I might be wrong. Um, yeah, they had it, you know, grew up with it, and I, I just thought I didn't have one. And then my cousins who all grew up in Ghana, they're like, what the hell, dude? Just look it up. Like, duh. <laughs> Like, of course you have one. And I was like, oh, okay. It's on the calendar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, oh, oh, I don't have a calendar. Oh, yeah, what the hell's wrong with you? Hey. <laughs> so, yeah, I found that out. It's cool. So now I know who I am, finally, which is nice. That's really cool. Yep, 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 yep. That's really cool. And Asante means thank you, by the way. Asante yeah. Sana means thank you in Swahili. Love that. So, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Love that. What, um, when did you move to San Diego? Man, when I, when I moved to San Diego, I think the exact date is December 27th, 1991, and that's the day when I was born. Oh, really? Born here in San Diego, yep. Right. Yep, born in San Diego. Your yeah. family's originally from LA. My dad is from Ghana, mom is from LA, Okay. and they met at USC, and they, my dad was doing a residency, I think, in Arizona. My older brother was actually born in Arizona, and I was born here along with my younger brother. 
<laughs> yep, yep, yep. Very fun. And um, in town, do you have a favorite neighborhood? I like North Park. This neighborhood a lot. Yeah. yeah. I like North Park a lot. Yeah. North Park. North Park. Uh, Little Italy is really cool. I don't go there as much as I should. Yeah. But the one place that I do that the most is Balboa Park. Oh, yeah. I like yeah. it so much. And every time I go there, I get mad at myself for not going more often. I know. Yeah, same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Like, what am I doing? People travel the world to come to San Diego. And we're like, oh, yeah, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought the other day I was like, man, like San Diego doesn't have enough parks. Oh my god! I was driving around. I was like, man, like I was like driving. Around, like, man, you really don't see a lot of like parks. Like, I was goodness. like, yeah, my hometown had a bunch of parks everywhere. My and then literally, I like drove by Balboa Park, and I'm like, oh yeah, oh. idiot, <laughs> dumb <laughs> idiot. We have this one of the biggest cool parks. parks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of the best, coolest, biggest parks in the world. Right here. My goodness, <laughs> <you> yeah. idiot. <laughs> man, what about beach? Do you have a favorite beach in town? Man, the favorite beach in town. I like the Coronado Beach a lot. Yeah. Just by default, because I live over there. Oh, yeah? Um, the hometown beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah the hometown <laughs> beach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one, too. I like the um, facing the the city. The one where you're like the standing, like, kind of, on, if you're on Coronado, like, yeah. kind of on the resorty end, where you're, like, facing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's not yeah, a lot of waves. Yeah, it's very yeah, calm, yeah. like, very, very like, calm. cool. Like, like yep. you know, it's usually, like, a cool breeze. Uh, and then just that view is just so dope. Where you're, like, on a beach, yeah. but you're looking at, this like, city. a city. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's so crazy, yeah. Then I like um, the La Jolla Cove, the shores. Yep. That was really dope. Pacific Beach is nice during the daytime. Um, so it's Ocean Beach. I mean, geez, you can't lose. Yeah. Ocean Beach. You really can't. You really, really Just can't. San Diego, yeah. yeah. But again, like, you take it for granted. I can't tell you the last time I went to the beach. Yeah. So, uh, it was probably like months. So, you know, we just take it for granted. Yeah. You have a better excuse though, because you were uh, <laughs> I was traveling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like doing my day job. Yeah. Right? <laughs> where, who, and where do you see yourself in the year twenty twenty five? In the year twenty twenty five. The year is twenty twenty five. Where do I see myself? I definitely see myself completing a world tour. Like, have a couple of those in the oh, back yeah. pocket. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Um, still be Sante Prince, unless something comes down and says, hey, you're going to change your name. Yeah. Until uh, maybe that Until might be the year. Is Until I become Sante King. That might be the year. I might be yeah. Sante King in 2025. <laughs> like it. Yeah, the throne is in here. Yeah, yeah. That's officially mine. Yeah, you already here first. <laughs> well, my part two was um, who is president in 2025? Let's see. Is it Sante King? What is it? <laughs> might be. Might be just edging out, edging out uh, uh, President Kanye West. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What is that, next year? Did he say 2020 he was going to run? I think 2024. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. You're so yeah, right. in you're 2025, right. like, who do you think wins the next, next? The next, next. So 2028? 25, 25. 25, okay. Or 24 is the election. Yeah, 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 I and mean, 25 is right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Probably gonna be a celebrity, man. It's yeah. probably gonna be a celebrity. Yeah. Yeah. Probably yeah. Oprah or Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Rock That's mentioned like, it. gonna keep getting crazy. God, yeah. man, it's just absurd. <laughs> this is not a popularity contest. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. 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 We have a celebrity in the White House now. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> That's like absolutely what it is now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost just like American Idol. It's almost it really like is. In your dad hates me and fly. Yeah, texting. You can now. You can now text. Wow, that's probably how it's gonna be in 2024. You're gonna text. My God. Our friends are standing by. Call up your favorite president can presidential candidate. Rock the vote. Yeah. <laughs> Oh um, God! And so, what do you do, man? I do a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> so that is, that is a question do that lot. doesn't really work for you. Yeah, you do do a lot. Of I wear a lot of hats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Well, I'm substitute teach at Cornell High School, elementary school, 
Um, yeah, how is that? That's like, no, it's not too bad. Right? It's oh, pretty no. stressful. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes yeah. it's stressful. <laughs> Sometimes it's kids, man. <laughs> like being a like, teacher stressful, and then being like a temporary teacher oh, is gonna man. be like twice or three times as stressful. It's not super bad because as long as you you know just kind of like establish how it's gonna be from the get go, yeah. the kids will be like, all right, cool, whatever. I'm not gonna screw around, so I'm not gonna get in yeah. trouble. And then if a kid does choose to screw around, you just gotta. Hit first, hit hard. Yeah. And we're right outside. You're done. Yeah. Make an example of them. So they're like, oh, geez, I don't want him yeah. to hit. I don't want him to hit me. Yeah. <laughs> and it's the weirdest thing. Like, the, 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 the stricter you are, the kind of the tougher you are, they really respond to tough love. Like, you would yeah. think that, oh, I yelled at this kid yesterday, so he's probably going to hate me. But the next day, he'll be like, yo, what's up, Mr. Santi? Yeah. What's good? <laughs> it's like, no, oh, okay. That's cool. I think it's cool how they respond to that. You know, Definitely. obviously, you can't just walk in being a drill sergeant asshole because yeah. no one's going to respect you at any level. But, you know, if you can show the reason, why you're being a dick or being so strict and people they respond to it yeah. and then elementary kids I mean it's fun you just have to have a lot of patience a lot of questions they're like oh and then they're like raise their hand wave it in the air and like just just please please pick up the <laughs> yes Jeffrey my granddad's 87 years old yeah and you're like <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thanks for that. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a belly button. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You just, I can't ask you any further questions. <laughs> <laughs> and you have, to, you have to. It's so cool to let you go with it. Wow. Very cool. Yeah. And then they run away. You're like, oh my God, these kids are the same thing. I got 10 fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Teaching, I uh, play water polo, I rap, I host. And yeah, then you want to get into tonight. some of the water polo and then kind of lead into yeah, yeah, yeah. your trip with that? So, water polo, man, I've been playing it for about maybe 13 years. How old am I? Yeah, about, no, about 15 years, I would say. Yeah, they were from 13 to 15 years. Uh, started off hating it, absolutely hating it. <laughs> so I was chugging, had asthma, couldn't swim, it was terrible. And then ended up yeah, getting that's a brutal one, right? Oh, you don't God, think it about it, but it's such man. like a physical Because you have to learn how to swim first. And then yeah. before you can get good at the sport, you have to be good at swimming. So I did that all through high school, all through college. Got to play abroad in Europe and Brazil. Right. Um, I still play now with a master's group, Sunset Water Polo at UCSD in La Jolla. And um, some years ago when I was in college, one of the coaches I was training with, he was like, hey, you won't believe, but a team in Ghana sent me an email. I was like, what? <laughs> so I got his information, and like throughout the past decade, I would just you know send emails, like, hey, you know, I'm a Ghanaian from the States, so you're in the water pool, blah, 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 maintaining a good connection. Flash forward to, what, last September, I reached out again, saying, hey, you know, it's me again, da da da, I just wanted to see how things are going. I got a response and they're like, hey, we are super down to have a team and we want you to come and speak with us and yada 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 yada. Yep. So I was like, dope. So the past couple of times I've been back to Ghana has been helping to develop the first program in the country. And the first time I went, I just donated a bunch of balls and caps and equipment, you know, for them to use. And I went back this last time and didn't do the same thing. I didn't donate any equipment this time because it was just too much to handle. But I went back and I had like a little clinic and I, you know, taught them basic fundamentals, passing, swimming, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. They're really strong swimmers. Really? It's just yeah. that the space is really small. They have a you know shallow pool, small oh, really? pool for them to use. Like, that's a big pool. deal too, right? The water... Does the size of the pool like? Oh yeah, because it's got to be Olympic size. Yeah, and the waves kind of affect the play, right? Um, I don't know. Possibly. Or no, but am I it, making that? You might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm an educated assumption. <laughs> I just know that. It, I just say with, like when you're talking about like Olympic swimming or like college yeah. swimming, it's, yeah, like, yeah. it really starts getting down to like fractions of a second. It does. All based on like pool yeah. size. So, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's all just like that. That gravity, I guess, in the full. Whatever you you just said it too. Fraction of a second. I can't. Think. There's a term for it though, but I can't think of it. The uh, friction or like the um, uh, pull, uh, drag, or something whatever. drag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something in the long lines. Anyways, yeah. But you know, the big thing is just trying to how to get a group of you know get a, get a community together to rally behind getting this team because they the, the school that I went to they had the first program they're very very you know outside of the main city where the main pool would be like at a university which would be deep and big enough to host a team so it's kind of brainstorming how we can promote this and advertise it and because I mean it's 
deeper than a sport, it kind of goes on to saying, or to teaching water safety, because a lot of people yep, don't know how to yep. swim, especially over there. And it's like, hey, if your kid can know how knows how to swim in the water, let's say there's a flood, he's going to be the one to save everybody, as Absolutely, opposed yeah. to drowning. And one of the coaches over there, his siblings actually died and he drowned. Oh, no. Or died in a flood. He, they, they drowned. So that's kind of the reason why he coaches swimming and water polo, because he's like, look, Shit, I know what it's like. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah so prevent that. Super respectable. Yeah. yeah. So those are, and then actually that's that's my assignment now. I have to create a little proposal on the health and academic benefits of water polo yeah. to kind of present to a community to you that's know cool. get more and more people behind it. That's right. <laughs> super dope. That's really cool. Super 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 super. Because that's dope. good. Because that's just like a competitive fun thing. Yeah. But it's also a utility. It's also exactly. teaching the like an actual like like skill. Exactly. Can use. I mean, you're really like saving skill. I mean, you mentioned that. It's, yeah. yeah. It's like. Literally you can't lose. You really, if, everything apart, everything about it is uh, is winning. You're getting you're getting something out of it. It's a benefit. Oh, yeah. Benefits everybody. So that's really cool. And that was where in Ghana. This was in um, so the school that I was at was uh, it's called Arutu Winton High School, and that's yeah. got the first. I mean, it's not official, official, like because they don't have like a water polo program. Like, are we gonna yeah, do this stuff but that like, is you know yeah. where it is being birthed right now. That's really and cool. I meet the administrators and talk to a lot of aquatic directors, and you oh, know yeah. they've got different plants here and there. And I'm just trying to help you know put a little more gasoline into the plan. Oh yeah, and, um, <laughs> yeah, man, get them, get them going. Well, they get that gold medal at the Olympics. Oh yeah, <laughs> 2028. <laughs> Yeah, twenty five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, win the presidency and then get the gold medal, and then I retire by twenty thirty. <laughs> Man, love it, love it. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, yeah. Uh, hear the people chanting ready for a show. When you hear the drums, see the fire dance, she already know. I know you heard the stories, I bet you heard the tales. Thinking, did he really kill a lion with his bad hands? But can he murder stones? Or do we break bricks? He ain't bad, never made men a drill sick. He never caught a lot, I bet you he ain't even real. They better listen to the wise don't miss Bill. No jokes, no lies, no jives. Be a champ, be a killer, he thrives. On a drum beat, it's no surprise. The fear of this leader, see the fire in his eyes. Better recognize, man, don't play. Murder anybody ever try to stand in his way, but he's so calm. Saying all the words, all he do is rob, beat his chest, see him run away. Hey, you were alive as a coach, head full hooded. Body of a gladiator, boy, like a king. He got a mean ground tigers, no, except the feet when he grits them teeth. True legend, it's about time this world got a hero, black cat, Afro. Young, pretty, and he can't be beat. Here we go, get a chance in the street to go. Rah, rah. Here come the warrior, here come the warrior, here come the warrior. Rah, rah. Here come the warrior, here come the warrior. And everybody say, I sent you a boom, I say. I sent you a boom, I say. I sent you a boom, I say. Yeah, keep it going, keep it sexy. One more time, say it. I sent you a boom, keep it going, hey. I sent you a boom, I say. What is um, Lyrical Exchange? Lyrical Exchange. Shout out at Lyrical Exchange. Hey, my man. <laughs> Lyrical Exchange is a weekly open mic that's every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. at Queen Bee's Arts and Cultural Center. It's been going on for six years now, six years and counting. And it was birthed as a kind of a poetry open mic. You know, the two original found founders, uh, Ra Henderson and Ronald Clark, they, you know, I think they went to school together and they were roommates and they just came through and they hooked up with another well-known poet out here. I'm totally blanking on his name, Gil, Gil Sotu. Anyways, they all created it. That was kind of their little baby. And then through the poetry community in San Diego, the art community in San Diego, it was able to stay moving and going and going. And then the past host, Ra Henderson, he just moved back home about a month, two months, three and a half, two and a half months ago. And he came up to me and was like, hey, I think you would be the only person that I would want to take over the show. So yeah. it's yours now. Fuck it. Yeah. So I said, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but it's an open mic. It's, it's really like, I, I give an analogy of uh, an open canvas. Like, you've got five minutes to do whatever you want to do. Like, you've got 
clean slate, clean stage, go for it. Because people come in and they rap, they sing, they dance. Yeah, There's poetry. Cool. Some just tell a story. Some just say, hi, my name is so-and-so, and bye, and they leave. Like, it's <laughs> whatever type of expressive thing you have. And it's a great family. It's a great pillar in the community out here. And I'm really just, you know, honored to kind of be able to continue on uh, the spirit energy of that. Stoke. Yeah. <laughs> Miracle Exchange, yeah. baby. It's oh, at Queen Bees. Bees. And it's, uh, at Queen Bees. Every, every Tuesday night. Every Tuesday yeah, night. Yeah, goes from about 8 to 11. Yeah. Sign ups are at 7.30. And it's cool because it's right across the street from probably my favorite uh, brewery out here in San Diego. Park, yeah. The North Park Beer Co. Yeah. yeah. I say favorite, like with a little hesitation because I've only been to like four <laughs> in the city. And I know that's like a sin because we are like a, a beer capital of the world. Yeah, yeah. And I know if I. If I would, you know, just test the waters and go out more, I'd be like, oh my God, this is my favorite, that's my favorite, but yeah. that was the most coziest one for me. Yeah. Yeah, so, sure. go have a beer before the show, and then host the show, and then, hey, what's up? That's a good one. It has a real, you know, it's brand new, so it's real nice and yes. fancy, but it, um, in the day, the vibe is real, like, pub. Kind yeah, of, yeah, yeah, kind yeah. Of real, like, chill and yeah. calm, and then you, if you go on, like, a weekend night, it's actually, like, kind of almost like a club, it's or, really? like, nightlife, like... <laughs> It's kind of best of both worlds. I love it. You, know, you want to go and have place. a party night at, on the weekends. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Perfect spot for that. But also, yeah. like, you want to just go have a beer with some friends and talk in the afternoon. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty dope, yeah. Man. Yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. I love it. <laughs> and we got great food, too. Shout out North Park Beer Co. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and shout out Queen Bees. And shout out Queen Bees. Yeah, yeah. Follow at Lyrical Exchange, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I want to ask again a little bit more about your Ghana trip before we move on. Um, yeah, please. Because you did some performance, performing. I did. I and did. And then you also did, um, can you explain a little bit about the Accra uh, Musical Center? Is that... Oh, yeah, Accra, Accra, yeah. Accra Art Center. Accra Art yeah, Center. Yeah, okay. okay. So, so uh, pardon my Midwest. Hey, no. Honky <laughs> <laughs> accent. Yeah. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. So, yeah, I did do some shows out there. Um, the Art Center in Accra is like this crazy, bustling center for anything you can think of artists, like art-wise. They have like bracelets, little trinkets. I got these two little... I got these two rings over there. I got all my bracelets that I left in my car. I forgot to put them on over there. <laughs> and um, just last year, I found out that they have a little cafe and a recording studio. Like, really? right, you That's know, cool. right next to it. So I went there and I said, oh, hey, you know, I'm a rapper from California and this is really cool and da 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 da. And every Friday night, they have like a showcase. They have like the traditional bands come through and they'll play the whole night. And the first time I was there in September, um, I was able to do a show and perform with them. No! February. Yeah, it was February when I first performed with them. And they just gave me the space and I gave them my whatever flash drive and boom, did the show. Yeah, I've got my invisible band right here. You see my trumpets and everything? So you can find me everywhere on Sante Prince from San Diego, California. Let's get it. One time you're sitting with a squad The whole world sound off my head like that Point so high we don't gotta keep score Team on the back I don't even get sore Too many curls in my head to be hooking knees So I put them up flex like a pot knee And everybody wanna pass to that victory But there's only one chip Yeah that's me coming out the bed for I'll make this my day And I'ma show them I don't care what the fix is I don't care what the ape or the knee say I'm going in I'ma kill it with the Ken Tay Ken Tay Cap, I'm back back on Ken Tay Cap, what I'm back back on I'ma catch a vibe like ketchup ash Do this, it won't do that Sound like this, it sound like that Can't do this cause it looks like that I'ma make it happen cause I'm way too black Can't do this, I am too that I can't do this and I can't do that I'ma make it happen cause I'm way too black I'ma make it happen cause I'm woo! Grinding, ayy, hey, stay shining I see the top but you gotta keep climbing Tears in my eyes, I made it happen And every time cause it made it all happen I keep it going cause the ground keeps snapping Anything you want up in the life don't grab it Hey yo Yo Sante, why you stay dancing? That's what happens when you're dark and handsome So top when you stay with the rumor Cause the boy go hard like a deuce It all facts now, it ain't no rumors I'm a killer, I'm a killer, I'm a killer With a Ken Ten Cap backpack gun Ken Ten Cap backpack gun Ken Ten Cap with a backpack gun I 
And um, yeah, did the show there. Did two of my uh, recorded tracks, and then I did one track with the house band, with the drums and the xylophone really? and That's traditional cool. instruments. Oh my god! Like the, it's djembe, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Djembe. Dundunes? Is it dundunes? The big bass. Ooh, the big bass. I think you're right. It might be dundunes. Yeah. I know because it's a little dundunes, different. Yeah. Um, because it's so like regional. Like, yeah. There's little pockets and regions of like the yeah. different kind of things. There's right? a whole family of drums. Yeah, no, like the Senegal, Ghana. Yeah, it's like that dun dun, that yeah, big bass, yeah, those big yeah, bass, yeah, like uh, keep oh, the I deep, love it. deep drums. Yeah. You hear those drums and it transforms. And those things, me. there's something about them that like, and you can't even get it when you hear it on like a radio, but like if you feel the vibrations from yeah. those. It yeah. like tinkle like t- like uh, it does. tickles your soul. It almost. does. Like it, there's it some undescribable. Like, it's not like a rock concert or no, somewhere you're like, oh no, man, that music. Like, and then like it gets you like you can get ugly. You're like, like oh, this just, music is good. It's just it's not it. even in the same ballpark no. as that. Like, <laughs> man, it's, 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 you go see like some Africans actually like hitting the drums. Oh, it's spiritual. I mean, oh, there's something bro. magical about the touch they're putting into the vibrations on those drums. Yeah, it's the soul. And those drums are all handmade. So that's kind of what I want to talk about because you I was seeing the videos you posted. How yeah, yeah. Kind yeah. of almost like, um, almost like an assembly line. Like each hut was yeah. doing a different component. Of yeah, the one of me walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That yep. was really cool, and I kind of like that because that kind of shows. I mean, it takes a community to build one drum. They're exactly. all putting like a lot of like handcrafted, hand exactly. like you know, blood, sweat, and tears from into, scratch like, too. Like it's not just some machine in a assembly line. Like know? right behind where they kind of all craft all the drums, they just have stacks and stacks of trees and like, yeah. like, <laughs> logs and everything so they legit like just you know they'll take a log and they'll shit it there you know whatever it's called the sh- 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 shave it not shave it but like sand it down yeah like exactly yeah, they'll yeah. sand it down and they'll carve it and they'll hammer it down like you, it's a full thing so yeah. I think that kind of explains a little bit why it just hits you differently because someone is making it absolutely with yeah. their hands and yeah, just being able to perform over those drums. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was gonna say that. Yeah, that's gonna be, <laughs> bruh, bruh, that's bruh, gotta bruh, be bruh. so awesome. Yeah, like, such incredible. a good like like so. spiritual boost. Yeah, yeah. It really <laughs> even just takes like a lot of fun away from performing with my instrumentals now. Well, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. How do you go back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <don't> <laughs> yeah, it's like let me just do all my songs with. Uh, it's gotta be live music now, and then just that combined with. You know what live music does naturally it heightens your performance it's absolutely. just whew, absolutely man it's major 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 definitely a blessing to do that that's what it was real because like it reminded me of real quick i have a family friend from um ghana and he w- used to tell a story about how in the villages they would yeah. have like these giant tree trunks yeah and they would hollow them out and turn them into these giant drums yeah and they were only used for like celebrations yeah. and like almost as like morse code so yeah. village to village they would like bang the drums talking like, drums communications to each other yep so they would have one like like pattern of beats they play yeah that would be like a funeral like uh-huh. you know like a message to the different communities that someone has died you yeah know? That's or the exactly opposite, right. like a birthday or a wedding. That's exactly or, you know. right. That's exactly. But it was right. kind of this badass thing where it's like, man, like all these villages in Africa have these just giant, like handmade tree drums, and yeah, it's like. Man. But it's also like it's not just music. It's like it brings communities together. It literally is like the communication that binds these communities together. He was even saying like they can't even speak with the same language. A yeah. lot of times. Yeah. Like they wouldn't even know how to like there's different words, sex. There's different. But they know how to play drums. They uh-huh. almost have like a music, I forget the name of it. Um but there's a language in Senegal that's like a language, but it's also you can play it on the drums. Because huh. it's like a beat. Right. You know, and that's almost like the universal language there is like the yeah, drum beat. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool. But yeah, so yeah it's, I was real quick I want to say that story because that was really cool. Oh, yeah, um, but it reminded me when I was looking at those videos about just that hand craftsmanship, you know. <laughs> you only really see and hear about that and like yeah. that. Yeah. West Africa, yeah. And it's cool. I like I like 
to post about that stuff too because you know some people will never ever see that like some yeah, people will never see that definitely. firsthand you know so it kind of gives a little bit of a insight to show you like the real reality of what Africa is and not like the shit we see on TV yeah, not, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. come on man. oh uh, we get it you've seen Black Panther yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, yes and no you dumbass <laughs> but no it's uh it's good it's good it's good it's good it's like I've seen a couple movies I think yeah. I know what Africa's all about yeah yeah oh I've seen yeah I've seen a good three films okay yeah I've seen The Lion King oh wow okay Africa, <laughs> Africa expert here. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Um, I definitely wanted to ask about your former rap groups and kind of touch on those. My former so rap groups. Nebuary yeah. and Nebuary. Acid. So the Acid kind of crew was on the one that I was more involved in. Yeah. Acid was uh, eighth grade. Oh yeah, me and my buddy, <laughs> my buddy Danny Lukin, who is Danny Winter. That was his yeah. rap name. No, Dan the Man. That was his rap name. That's right around. The, is that is that, that that area where it's like embarrassing, or was it that when we first started you to know kind what? of put out good? I think it was in the more sort of the embarrassed. I, I don't want to say yeah. embarrassing because like we, we were we were about it. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. But it's like okay, our friends. It's relative, you know. When yeah. you're in eighth grade, it's not. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, it's trial and error. You're learning. Nobody more. wins middle school. Yeah. <laughs> nobody does. <laughs> So it just kind of oh, tied to that. Yeah. I, 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 I totally did. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, wow. Which is why I'm losing it. <laughs> Every single day. I'm following hard, man. You like, gotta help me out. I peaked in seventh grade, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's been rough. But damn, it was a good year. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it was like, it was fun. We, I mean, I, I definitely liked it because I knew in the back of my mind, I was like, all right, this is practice for when I want to really, really do music. Yeah. But we put it out and everybody was like, oh, wow. Well, Oh, you're so lame or whatever um, but Dan the man went on to become Danny Winter and he he's a producer and he does a lot of really good tracks and I remember he took it super good. seriously so that was kind of cool to piggyback off of that and then Nebuary was him and this other dude in um, high school they kind of formed the super group and they were the rappers on campus and they performed or whatever they performed at pep rallies and then I would just kind of do my thing like Super, super behind the scenes. Still wouldn't really tell anybody about it. And everybody would joke, hey, what happened to the Acid crew? And I'm like, yeah, we're coming back next year. Yeah. <laughs> we're playing about it. Um, but no, definitely shout out to Denny, Denny Lucan, you know, hometown friend. Um, yeah, he definitely, you know, just him doing what he does definitely helped me take a stab at taking the music professionally. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Acid crew in February. <laughs> I introduced them at our senior year pep rally, like the last one, because I was the yeah. MC. That's so cool. make some noise for February, and they came out and they they rocked it. That's Good awesome. times. That's awesome. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good times. Just check out the tracks. Any like uh, Dude, reunion I, albums or reunion? I need to look on MySpace. Right yeah, because we released our songs oh, on MySpace. MySpace. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I pray. I pray they're still on there. Man, I pray. I pray. I pray. I pray. For the one day when it makes a comeback, right? Yeah, for the one day. Watch out. You heard it here first. Um, what's up with the emojis? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Hey, easy. Don't think about it too much. Fire oh, emoji yeah. is hot. Chocolate is chocolate. Sante Prince is hot chocolate because I'm it. handsome and melanated. <laughs> I love it. It's so like I, I love the like the simplicity of it. Yes. Because if you turn on a song of yours, it's like there's nothing simple about it. Exactly. But then you look at like the picture for it, and it's just like the goofy little, almost like mm-hmm. it took you two seconds to type it in your cell phone. Exactly. But then you listen to a four minute song, it's like and you're like you have to listen wow. to it six times to okay. like <laughs> and to, to try and catch it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I kind of like that. I was all that like the, a little dichotomy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah. You caught it. You caught it. That's good. You definitely caught it. <laughs> <laughs> Simple, but it says everything. You know, yeah. just to be a trademark. Yeah. I'm gonna have to make a real logo and not just steal the emojis, because the yeah, yeah, Apple, yeah, you yeah. know, who knows? Apple might say, "Hey, you owe us ten billion dollars." And I was oh, like, "What?" And Apple definitely will say, you "Oh, owe us God. <laughs> they have nothing better to they do." They will definitely send their lawyers. To you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we can. I can put you in touch with some artists. Like, we we'll do a little hand drawing. Oh my god, nothing like yeah. too professional. But I kind of want to do like a slideshow. I kind of want to do like a, I don't know if I'm not famous or not yet, but a, hey, send in your best hot chocolate logo yeah. Oh, yeah. and just see a bunch of different interpretations of the emojis. That's that's something that I play yeah. around with. That'd be super dope. Definitely. 
definitely. But um, or just the words hot chocolate and see what yeah. like people kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure there are like even things I can't you know right. think of right now, but different like variations. That, right, 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 right. Um, and a couple last questions for the what do you do? Um, can you describe your art in one word or one sound? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> That's it. Love that. That's how you get to know. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, yeah. The question we kind of talked about last time, I think, was um, what was your craziest live performance? And then specifically, I think it was that blackout show. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a blackout show. It was you after. Uh, talk, talk about that real quick. I guess. Yeah, we'll do that. So yeah, that was cool it was a show when it was just pouring, pouring, pouring rain outside, storming outside, and. Um, what was it, man? Like, every, the show was going great. I pulled up, and it was my turn to go on. And then I was performing, and, like, it was three songs in. And then the sound was already a little bit funky, so I was just kind of playing with the crowd more so than my music. And in the middle of my set, boom, blackout. <laughs> Lights go out. The whole block is out. And everyone's like, oh, this is lame. Like, oh, I'm going to leave now. But I was like, dude, what the fuck? It's still my set. Like, I'm still performing. Yeah. In my mind, I didn't say this out loud. So I just went ahead, and I just... Turned it into an acapella performance, and I made everybody stomp and clap and <laughs> chant the lyrics. I said to Oh, it was so dope. And the artists that were going to go on after me, they were all ready to leave, but they stuck yeah. around because me, like, being resilient and, like, still putting on a damn good show. Um, like, we got to do this now, fuck, too. Man, it was so dope. <laughs> and my homie... <laughs> we can't get, like, over overshown. Right oh, that, yeah, yeah, we ain't going like no bitches. We can't. Yeah, now we have to perform. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, homie got it all on tape too I just still haven't seen any footage of it but fuck it was a dope show dope 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 show that's pretty sick that's yeah. gonna be tough for like rap too like yeah. rock is a little I mean I, I feel like you could do a little more like crowd humming the melodies yeah and stuff. yeah 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 but yeah rap is a little more like you you'd almost need that beat right? you do like you that, do like, so yeah. I just had everybody <laughs> like clap and stomp the bass was the stomp and the hi-hat oh, was the claps dope, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, you gotta, the show must go on Show yeah. must go on. Almost like a queen, like the yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's a hip hop right there. That's Get a hip hop beat right there. Soften, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I wanted to say too, um, do you do you have your family's approval and or support? Yes. For your career, like on your art and your career. Yeah. Yes. Do you want to talk, talk about that? But it was not easy. Yeah. <laughs> I it, I got I got you know bit lightning bolt hit by this inspiration in 2012. Yeah. And I was in school still. I was living at home, um, and like all my life, I was just kind of like you know bred to be the next doctor in the family. It was pre med everything, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> school, home, books, studying, everything. No social life outside of like sports. And then I was like, Dad, I think I can do this music thing. And he's like, so supportive. He's like, Ah, I get it, but yeah. let's you know. <laughs> like he didn't. He never said no. Don't do it. But he was always like, I understand, but you know, you got to realize this is a I think a concrete thing. And then my mom was like, hell no, like absolutely not. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my God, yeah, yeah, everybody, they were, it was a consensus, a general no from yeah. the family <laughs> of no, you're going to medical school, the end. So I said, all right, fine. Then I tucked it away and then I did everything I could. I graduated from college, got my degree in psychology, got a job working in a psychology clinic, you know, still staying in the medicine realm. Um, you know, did everything, cr checked off all the society demands, and then after I was like in like a, an established position, I was like, all right, I've done everything everybody needs me to do, now I'm going to do the music. And I did it, and they started to see how serious I was about it, how much I worked at it, and how like much positive reception I was getting. And then, I say it took six years, because last year my dad came into my room the day I had a big show at the Music Box, and he had a t-shirt with my sh oh, with yeah. my face on it, and it said Sante <laughs> Prince, and I was like, ah! <laughs> that's it. Like, so that's I was like, that wow. Moment, yeah. yeah, that was major. <laughs> that was major, 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 major. That's major. that moment, yeah. That's yeah. better than like any like paycheck or whatever. Yeah. Oh man, I finally got paid for a show. Like, Definitely. That's got to be a good. Yeah, yeah it, was, it, was, it, was, it was good. Very righteous. <laughs> so yeah, I got the support. That was great. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. Thank you for the music, the music. I want y'all to hear that. I use the competition up like a pack man because they hate to see a strong and ready black man. Yeah. I make it happen. I make it happen and you're bigger than rap, but I've always used my platform just to voice an educated tantrum. So tear it down, tear it down, it's time to rebuild. Tear it down, tear it down, know that we will. Make it better, you're looking at your endeavors. If you're steady hate, you're fucking with the insane. Hey, hey! Move that shit out of the way. Hey, hey! Said move that shit out of the way. And just clap. Just clap. 
I just clap, man. I just clap, man. You see, I be hearing when these people tell me, bro, you can't be living what you're doing. Got no man to see a student. I'm why they can't I was standing for this. You even tell me I'm not going to come into sport. I'm going to keep on repeating that my life is like a busy shot. I always wear a lot of features that I've seen. John Cena with Kevo. I mean, if I don't see a man, if I was doing so, I can't not stand. And all the real ones, you got your hands up. So all the people in the back books are standing up. We'll do a quick version of my last two segments um do you so we'll kind of make these short got it because I, I, t- I tend to make it long so i have to <laughs> <laughs> this is more a reminder to myself to like not rant and ramble oh, that's funny um but do you trust robots <laughs> no i don't trust robots i don't trust robots oh, yeah. Yeah, they're kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, I can't trust them, man. <laughs> Do you wash your apples? Yes. Yeah. I rinse my apples. Oh yeah, always. That's a great yeah. question. Yeah. More to I'd say nine times out of ten, I rinse my yeah. apples. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Do you believe in ghosts? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 I, th- I think acknowledge. I believe, yeah, fuck it, yeah. I guess, yeah. yeah. They are here. Oh, what was that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, do you cook? Yes, yeah. I do cook. Yeah. Yeah, 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 All the time? Not as much as I should. This summer, I'm, making, I'm manifesting, I'm getting back into cooking. Yeah. Cooking chicken and brown rice and veggies oh, all summer yeah. long. Oh, do yeah. it, Asante. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta get into it. It's so tough in San Diego. I feel like it's just such a busy. No, because burritos town. are everywhere. You yeah. just get yeah. a burrito for six dollars. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> everything's so like um, like Postmates and yeah, everything's dude, so easy. God, and, it's getting yeah. worse. Pretty soon, Amazon's yeah. gonna airdrop food. And, you know? Well, soon we're gonna be like three D printing out like burritos. <laughs> <laughs> like you download a recipe and you just My put in your three D printer. And <laughs> what have we become? <laughs> Um, do you think straws have one hole or two holes? Dude, this was the hardest question last time we did. <laughs> it has to be... Uh, dude, it's one hole. One. Yeah. yeah. It's one. one hole. Do you think that atoms have a color? Atoms? I, dude, I remember these questions. <laughs> And I remember I said, I said they have to. Oh, you remember because they were very stupid, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you remember all the stupid, dumb questions, right? Like, oh, yeah, they, I remember how dumb this was. They made me think. Because when, when I think of atoms, I go back to the like textbooks, and all of them were like, you know. Like red con- and blue. Conveniently like red. red, white, and blue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And now like, <laughs> our government textbooks, yeah. yeah. How convenient, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I think they have to have a color. I would guess so. <laughs> just like, what are those candies? Yeah. Nerds, you know? The 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 nerd, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they just like little <laughs> rainbow <laughs> colors all in us. Bunch of nerds. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you think taxation is theft? Yes. Speaking of the government, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, government. yeah. Do you think drinking and smoking should be beach legal? I'm going to say no, because I know humans can't handle the trash. Yeah. That as much as I would love to say, yeah, dude, let's drink and smoke on the beach. But I know that there's going to be beer bottles and cigarettes and shit everywhere. So yeah. fortunately, what if, not, a, what if there was a fee that a specifically fine? went for um, like cleanup? So, like, if I went to the beach with a beer... Like, you brought, a, like, a cooler full of beers, uh-huh. but, like, in order to, like, do it, you'd have to, like, pay, like, ten bucks or something. And that just goes to, like, a fund that's, like, a beach cleanup. Oh, dude, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> but then it'll get... Or do you still think, because I think it's, like, a two-debate thing with this question, because some of it is, like, I think half of it is the mess, uh-huh. which is mostly what I think the right. problem is. But the other half is, like, the behavior. Right. Like, do you really want a bunch of people, like, smoking a bunch of pot? Yeah, or, like, even just cigarettes, uh, like, on true. the beach next to, like, maybe... I'm going to say no. ...families next to it, you know? Yeah, I'm going to say no. Because yeah. it'll, it'll ruin it for some people. Yeah. Because not everybody can handle the maturity of, like, drinking it. Like, casually drinking yeah. or casually smoking. Yeah, a lot of shit faith people on the beach. Nope. I ain't about it. I'm always like, yeah, me and my friends would be great, but... Yeah. <laughs> like, the alternate universe, you and your friends, your evil twins. Yeah. I get reminded every once in a while how, like bad people are you know yeah. <laughs> You're all inconsiderate i guess not necessarily like bad uh, uh, selfish things and then the last for this section is what do you order at in and out double double 
Some, I get two double doubles sometimes. Hell yeah. So that's the way to do it. You don't do like a four by four? Like just keep going with No, I didn't used to get the four by four. does five by, five by three, where it's like five patties and then like a cheese in between each one. Good God. Five by four. No way. I couldn't it's, do it, that. You can't even, like, he, it's like a mess. Like, you can't even. Yeah, that's it. why so. I don't get the four by four. <laughs> double it's doubles so are like big. a clean, <laughs> double doubles are like a clean, you know, clean way to do it. But. Yeah. I like it. Do you do fries? Do you like their fries and all? Sometimes. Yeah. It's more of a mood thing. Yeah. But I know when I, yeah, when I like, like, if I walk in and I say no fries, and then I look at the person next to me eating fries, oh, yeah, I'm like, man, I fucked yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no redos at in and out Yeah. The line is too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck up and reorder it. <laughs> Just really quick, like just a couple thoughts on these topics. Um, dinosaurs. I like. Yeah, yeah. Rah. Approve, approve. Yeah. Approve. <laughs> I approve. <laughs> um, the wind is nice. Yeah. Guns are bad. Yeah. Game of Thrones had a very weak ending. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Black Mirror. Is what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I had a queer, I had a weird, dark, black, black mirror dream, really? and then I, yeah, I don't know, it was just a freaking weird, weird, like grim, like French oil, scary painting. I don't know what it was, really? but the first this this season was like, what the hell? Oh, uh, what the fuck? Black mirror? The newest, newest? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh god. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. so, oh, now I see why you don't trust robots. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, makes sense. You're doing a good job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about 3D printers? 3D printers are dope. I think those are really, yeah. really dope because I could make a. I could. You hear it first. This is my idea. Everybody else can back off. I'm gonna 3D print a microphone. And then just wrap off of that. Oh yeah, yeah. Because oh, yeah. I, I, I could do that. On stage, or I could not. Or I could not. I could be totally wrong and inaccurate about my claim. But like you, know. you walk up on stage with nothing. Yeah. Except for like a box. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Put the yeah. box there, and it prints out a microphone. You pull out the microphone. Yeah, and my start DJ rapping. just makes beats <laughs> while it's printing. <laughs> like you make your set yeah, on stage. Exactly. <laughs> what about um, the temperature of the sun? It's too hot. It's too hot. But not harder than hot chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think it's cold? Cold sun? It's a hot sun? So hot it's cold. <laughs> so hot it's, it's cold. It's a cold-blooded sun. So the sun is cold-blooded. <laughs> what about, um, what do you think the shape of the earth is? Round. Round? Globe-shaped? Globe-shaped, yeah. Globe-shaped, yeah. Somebody said, what if the, you, we've heard round earth, we've heard flat earth, what about long earth? And it's just like, Long <laughs> like line earth. Even, yeah, the, the earth is actually just a tube. We're all wrong. A square earth. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's, it's actually just a cylinder. <laughs> um, my new, my new favorite like joke is I'm gonna try to like do my stand up bit and like have it somehow work in there. But like, like yeah, of course, of course, the earth is round. But isn't it also obvious that the moon's flat? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We can all agree, right? The moon is 2D as fuck. <laughs> Show me the curve of the moon. Bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, and the last two I want to get to were uh, LeBron. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. What do you think about LeBron? LeBron, I'm a fan. Yeah. Respect, oh, yeah. yeah, definitely just... On and off the court, he's yeah. just one of the best guys. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. probably. I mean, I, I, uh, I could definitely see him getting back in the finals next year. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. But no, he's the man. Starting basketball put a team together. Yeah, yeah putting the team together, and then he's got a thing with his schools too, getting the kids right, getting their uh, supplies, and yeah. their all their test scores are passing scores. So, hell yeah! Shout out to LeBron. I think he's a little wild on social media. He's a little goofy and can be a little kind goofy, of. Yeah. Um, he is goofy. He can be like bad controversial. Uh-huh. Like, you know how like some people kind of push the, like they're controversial, but it's almost like strategic. 
to get like an extra <laughs> like or two, you know, extra. Oh, like extra you mean followers. Kanye controversy? Which is yeah, we'll get to the Kanye in a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's kind of my lead in, but like yeah. almost. I mean, that's a good example. Like, like, like Kardashians, you know, yeah, they're yeah, so yeah, good yeah, about yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Put, like doing weird stuff, but it's like strategic. Uh huh. I think LeBron is bad at it. LeBron oh, bad, does weird things, but strategy. it's almost not sh- good strategy for him. Which is sad because I think he is a genuinely good guy doing yeah. good things. Uh-huh. But I feel like he gets this reputation of being like a bozo off the court or like I being guess. whatever, like too political or something. I mean, that's a weird thing because I don't agree with that. I like, guess. That mentality of like athletes should shut up and not talk about sports. Oh, yeah, no, I think like everyone should talk about, you know, <laughs> the stuff that affects everybody. <laughs> politic, you know, yeah. topics in politics, you know, even yeah, if you're yeah. a sports player or a celebrity or whatever. But uh-huh. at the same time, it's like when you're doing like weird, controversial things online right. that aren't good. I don't know how to really describe that, but it's like, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is me being ranty, sorry. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I agree. I think LeBron is a really good guy. I just think he gets like a bad rap. Yeah. So like almost like an unfair does. bad rap for yeah, his absolutely. weird antics. Which leads me to my next question. Uh, <laughs> and last question. I wonder question, who it uh, could be about. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about um, Kanye West? Man, Kanye West is a very interesting, intriguing character. Um, you cannot deny his artistic, like his artistry. Oh, yeah. You can't yeah. deny that. <laughs> oh, yeah. But man, he makes it he's hard. So brilliant. He's makes it hard to support him sometimes. Brilliant. No, no, he's incredibly brilliant. And I think his thing he did with the Sunday service is recent. Like, oh, uh, yeah, man, it's, yeah, yeah, that's incredible. Like, that's just pure. another like kind of like, soul touching like yeah. you just kind of get lost in it live music they've got the drums they've got the choir yeah. but he makes it hard on himself because you know a lot of the things that he says are very very controversial and yeah we understand your intention of why you're saying it but the fact that you're saying it still doesn't help so yeah. I don't yeah. know all I know is he's giving me great material because I'm planning to play <laughs> be in his biopic San- oh, yeah, yeah Con- Sante Prince as Kanye West Sanye 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 yeah. <laughs> so whenever he does something yeah, crazy I'm like alright hell yeah this is gonna be a great scene in 2025 <laughs> <laughs> in the White House yeah, 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 yeah. what was his, his uh, cell phone password was zero, 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 zero. Zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that that was so funny he's like, yeah. he's like check out this plane he's like pulling up the he's, like, yeah. he's almost like kind of like, like frantic he's like moving and he's like a and kid and you know showing Check the, this out, the yeah. thing and Trump is sitting there like what wow the very fuck? nice mm-hmm. uh-huh <laughs> we're gonna like, what right do I do yeah. <laughs> okay okay you can just see that look on his face of like he's so confused about what's happening but yeah. also like just don't say anything just right. let him go <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> that was that's probably one of the few days in his presidency so far where the cameras were not on him. 
Yeah. Where there's like 80 cameras in the room. That's and it's crazy. the one day where the cameras actually aren't all crazy, on him. Crazy, you know? crazy, That's wild. That's like a Kanye only kind of thing, you know? Uh-huh. <laughs> there's like a few people in the world that could do that, you know? Yeah. Take the attention away from the president, let alone like a controversial president, you know? Uh-huh. And it's Kanye. <laughs> Kanye, Kanye, Kanye. <laughs> I'm sick of people lying, and I'm sick of people dying And I'm sick of all these fucking cover-ups and justifying This shit is serious and we ain't trying to waste time This shit is serious like DJ Khaled's waistline Claiming they educated, but to me I look sedated Ignorant to all the chaos, product of what they created Mumble rap, I really hate it Why do people love to play it? Reminiscing to them days, we committed the creators Just understand what I'm saying See, I've been sitting back and patiently waiting As I've been watching this mayhem and now See, now I'm breaking my silence and I'm here to spit something violent I'm breaking never to smash, going off, see ya now I call a wiener, no one get your costume I'm not like Homer when there's somebody talking slick to him How am I supposed to spark a revolution When the media is polluting my entire generation, home? Huh? I guess where can people find and follow you? You can find me on all streaming platforms. You type in S A N T E with the accent like Beyonce Prince. All social media platforms at S A N T E Prince. Um, I've got a new single that I released about a month ago. Thank you. It's a really good one. Oh, yeah, really good. I'm all up on YouTube. Uh, la, 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 la. Definitely check out Horns. Let's Definitely listen to Horns. <laughs> That's a good one. SoundCloud. SoundCloud.com. That's a song you can't not listen to like six times. Oh my god, <laughs> you need you. It's I listen. That's my. That's my get ready for stuff. I yeah. Get ready for stuff playlist. So it's number two. Right right back. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we're gonna be here in October, and if I don't perform with them live, I'm gonna throw a fit. I'm gonna just. Who, what was too it? many zoos. Too many zoos. Yeah. Like, so they're zoos, the ones yeah. with the, 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 the phenomenal band. Phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I feel like our energies match. My rap energy and their band energy and i feel yeah. like we would just flip san diego upside down fuck yeah so yeah you can find me nationals anderson Park. yo <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah next level next level but sorry yeah, we're like we're we're um i guess do you have any plugs any shout outs um man let's see let's shout out lyrical exchange i'm doing a show hip-hop weds and uh, Shout out to San Diego. We are one of the most talented cities Fuck in the country, hands down. <laughs> I mean, but we're all underground, so you got to look for us, and you got to keep looking. See that—that means you got to come to the shows and see what you're missing out on. So, shout out to everybody doing their thing out there. There's way too many to name. Um, just if you know, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so sick. Yeah. Any last, last, like anyone you want to like shout out, mention? Let's see. I freestyled in um, I freestyled in Africa, yeah. and in my freestyle, I shouted out my girl from Brazil, uh, but she missed it. So shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, dog massage. Yeah, definitely at Sante Prince um, S A N T E P R I N C E um, at Lyrical Exchange L Y R I C A L E X C H A N G E. Yeah, yeah. So, thank you again. Sorry again for. Hey, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. We make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. The end. I'm young. I'm handsome. I'm fast. I'm pretty, and can't possibly be beat. I am the greatest. Got him, I know you got him, Dick, but I'm gonna show you how great I am. Nah, nah. The kids are warrior, I'm sick and tell them warning, it's a go and call a coroner. Nah, nah. The kids are warrior, I'm sick and tell them warning, it's a go and call a coroner. I sent it for my egg, hey. I sent it for my egg, hey. I sent it for my egg, hey. I sent it for my egg, go. Hear the people chant, they ready for a show When you hear the drums, see the fire dance, you already know I know you heard the stories, yeah, I bet you heard the tales Thinking did he really kill a lion with his bare hands? Can he murder stones? Do he break bricks? Nah, he ain't bad, never made them feel sick He never come around and bet you he ain't even real Well, you better listen to the wise old man's bill No jokes, no lies, no jive He a champ, he a killer, he thrives On that drum beat, it's no surprise The fearless leader, see the fire in his eyes Y'all better recognize, man, don't play Murder anybody ever try to stand in his way, buddy so calm, never gotta say a single word All he do is rob, beat his chest, see him run away Hey, where a lion is a coat, head for a hoodie Body of a gladiator, treated like a king He got a mean ground, tigers no except defeat When he grits them deep True legend, it's about time this world Got a hero, black hair, afro Young, pretty, and he can't be beat Here he come, keep the chan in the streets, go Here come
the warrior, here comes the warrior, here comes the warrior. Yeah, yeah. Here comes the warrior, here comes the warrior, here comes the warrior. Asante, Omaye. Hey, Asante, Omaye. Hey, Asante, Omaye. Hey, Asante, Omaye. No changes, KYE, bruh. Blessed from the best, see that evil can't touch me. It all started back home in the motherland. Red, gold, green, black star, you, you don't, don't wanna stand. stand. Royal blood, so I'm living so godly. I'm coming for the top, homie, try and stop me. We going all out, even off course, so destined for greatness. Yes, of course. Yeah, let the truth be told. You better blame it on the gold. We keep it on, we going hard, never back down, never scared, never lose. Do the damn thank you. Run! I sucked you. Oh my god, I sucked you. Asante means thank you, by the way. Asante, oh my yay. Asante, oh my yay means kill him. Asante, that boy good. He good.